Okay, and welcome students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And for this series of videos, we're working on the chapter 18 drill problems. The assigned problems in the study guide um, are the odd number problems. And let me just quickly make sure that that's exactly what um, was assigned. Because I just automatically assumed, since all the previous 17 chapters or assignments or odd number problems and like I said I'm basically doing this just like I am a student um, with the only exception difference being is that I'm trying to explain things um, that are going through my mind as I'm working through the problem so um, you get me going uh stopping duh uh, and you know I you know my writing I scribble I make mistakes and whatever okay but you're already accustomed to that and yes it's the odd number problem so um, you know uh, if you working through the problems if you don't understand how I'm arriving at it you know watch it again um, go back and watch the 30 videos and if you still don't understand you know feel free to contact an instructor so uh, let's get to it here um, and we're doing problem one let me get my pen and if you had heard me say on uh, chapter 17 I had had uh, sinus infection and I'm sort of getting over that so I'm feeling a little bit better and that's why I sound so perky <laughs> all right anyway it says here use the specific identification method calculate a the ending inventory and B the cost of goods sold given the following information okay and remember the specific identification method is kind of like saying okay we have our inventory all right and uh, whatever we sell, we're able to specifically identify that item, and therefore we're able to take those out. Okay. So here it's you know we have these dates: June, October, December. Units purchased: 12 blackberries, 30 blackberries, and 37 blackberries. But notice that the costs are different: 99, 109, and 125. Okay. And uh, you know our ending inventory right has four blackberries from june seven blackberries from october 1st and 10 blackberries from december 1st meaning four out of the 12 for june all right were sold and seven out of the thir uh, 30 for october and 10 out of the 37 for december and so um what do we need here? What do we need to know here? Okay, so uh, we want to know what our ending inventory amount is. All right, so we have to take the get my pen. All right, there, all right, there it is. All right, so we have four in ending inventory um, from June, and they were at ninety-nine dollars. Okay, so that's equal to uh, 300 and let's see 99 uh, times 100 times 4 is 400 less 4 is 396 notice I how I did that math I just rounded the 99 up 99 up to 100 and then I multiplied it by 4 to give me 400 and then I since I had I'm one dollar off between the 99 and the 100 and I had four of them I just subtract four to get 396 okay so that's how I did that without using a calculator. Um, all right, so then I have seven blackberries at 109. You know, I could do the same thing here, right? Seven times 100 is 700, and I have nine more at seven dollars. You know, so that's 63, so that's 763. Now it took me a lot longer to to write all of that but you know um, these little quick shortcuts are um, you know why do I need a calculator when I could do this stuff mentally in my head and that's you know in a, an easier way yes I could have taken 109 and multiplied it by 7 and did it like this 63 763 but you know it was just a lot easier for me to go when I was looking at it 700 and then Nine times seven is sixty-three. Seven sixty-three, done. All right. Um, now let's see. Here we have ten at one hundred and twenty-five, 
and that ends up being you know, notice that I have 125 and since I'm multiplying by 10 I only need to add the zero which you think I didn't have to do any math at all okay <laughs> All right, anyway, 9, 11, 20, 2, 14, 200, uh, 2,409, all right, is the cost of my ending inventory, okay? So that's A. Now, I need to know uh, the cost of goods sold. Oops, sorry. Yeah, um, that was my ending inventory, and now I need to know the cost of goods sold. Well, remember, we have to, um, we take our, uh, cost of goods available for sale, okay, and then we subtract out our ending inventory, and that will give us our cost of goods sold, right? So what do we have available for sale? So let me just write the 2409 up here as my inventory, okay, and erase that. So um, I have to find out what my available, uh, what was available, all right? So my available is 12 times 99, okay? And doing the math the same way, uh, 1,200 less 12, 1188. I had 30 at 109, and that gives me... 3,270 and 37 at 125. All right, so that one I'm going to use the calculator. Gives me 46.25. And I add those all up. 18, 8, 9, 10, 7, 8, 9, $9,083. Is my is what was available, right? So 9,083 was available for sale. Okay. And then I have to take, then I subtract out my inventory, which is this 2,409 dollars, okay. and that gives me 66.74 for my cost of goods sold. Okay, and that's the cost of goods sold. All right, um, moving on. Uh, let's see here. Okay, it says here from the following calculate the cost of ending inventory, cost of goods sold using the average FIFO and LIFO methods. All right, so I'm going to stop here um, and work through uh, in order to be able to work through this problem in the next video. Okay.